Welcome everyone to Inside the Fight Post Fight UFC 259. Bohovich taking on Asanya. Uh, your main event. It was an interesting event. A lot of, eh, I would say a lot of controversy. No, just a little bit. Just a little tiny bit. Uh, three title fights and we're going to kick things off with the first title fight. Uh, Peter Yang defending his uh, UFC bantamweight title against Aljamain Sterling. And this fight was an interesting fight. Uh, Sterling started real quick. He maybe expended too much energy in that first round. And by the end of the fourth round, it was a DQ win for Aljamain Sterling. Taking a knee to the head on the ground. Um, and, a, a, and and I found it interesting. Because while I'm watching this fight, I'm hearing the referee say he's down, he's down. And he goes for this knee. And just like... No, what were you thinking? Like, no. So, um, Sterling ends up, no, getting concussed. Or, you know, uh, I saw a lot of people on Twitter were like, he's uh, winning the Oscar for acting and everything. Uh, you know, you're losing this fight. And he knew he was losing this fight. He was down two rounds for sure. And you have an opportunity here to just replay this fight right back you are no fighter should ever be asked as well if they're okay um taking a knee to the head hurts and no matter what anyone says the replay show he definitely got hit uh, yang definitely no did an illegal shot it is what it is um no uh, i'm happy that you know he did like throw the belt on the floor because he was like no that this is not the way he wanted to win the belt but we're going to redo this, and uh, hopefully Sterling learns from this fight because, again, he came out way too aggressive, way too explosive, was wasting too much energy. Um, and then Yang just you know, basically picked him apart the last few rounds. Like I said, though, this is going to be an interesting fight going, replaying this fight, but the winner, Sterling, is your new UFC bantamweight champ via DQ. So, um... Didn't think that I'll see that, but that happened. Uh, Amanda Nunez is taking on Megan Anderson. She defends her featherweight title here. Um, what can you say? It's Amanda Nunez. Uh, the greatest UFC champion fighter, period. Um, first round submission. Amanda is just Amanda. And if you're going to fight her, you're going to get your ass kicked. That's pretty much it. Now we jump to the main event. Israel Asanya jumping to the light heavyweight division to take on John Bohokovic. Boho, bo, bo, oh my god, I just said his name wrong, didn't I? Bohovic. Bohovic. Look at that. I, it's hard. It's, it's Polish. I don't know it. Anywho, um, this was an interesting fight, especially because of the whole John Jones and Israel Asanya oh, beef. So, you know, you got to give credit to the, style, the last style bender. He moved up and wait for this fight. And, you know, it's not like he put more muscle mass. He basically came in at 200 pounds. Um, Jan also said straight up, no, the last two rounds, he took him down. He knew there was nothing he was going to be able to do to, you know, lose out those positions. He just way too much weight on him. On top of that, you know, when you are fighting a bigger fighter, you're going to expend more energy. And that's exactly what happened to Israel. Um, all the credit to the world to Israel, though. He did a fantastic job. Um, no, he... It's definitely just one of those fights where, you, you know, you're not going to beat the bigger guy, you know. Um, you know, they say style, you know, technique over power. In this case, no. This guy is a legit fighter. He's a champion. So you can't just say, you know, like, you know, you can't say I have more skills than this guy. He's a champ. So, with that being said... Um, Behovich, no, wins this, and, um, I, I didn't make any predictions beforehand because, you know, it's one of the things where you don't know. Uh, I haven't been really doing these things. Been watching, but haven't been really following is the best way to put it. But I'm back! I hope everyone had a good night, uh, with the UFC fights. Um, all the way from the prelims, everything was great. And, um, like I said, definitely a lot of fights to make after this. Israel, uh, Sanya will go back to middleweight. Um, Behovich is going to take on uh, uh, Glover. So that's going to be a good fight going forward. Uh, let me know what you guys thought of UFC 259. 
make sure to like this video make sure to subscribe because we're back making more stuff more content and like i said um what do you guys thought also did you think um starbender uh won this fight because some people were saying that he won the first three rounds i felt round two was probably the closest round and i gave that to uh jan which you no know, means that you know he easily won it i think the scorings had a uh giving him a 10-8 rounds a couple of them no i i I didn't give him a 10 8 round on any of those fight rounds, but I definitely had him winning the fight. So, um, either way, no, I thought the decision was good. And actually, having it wasn't a split decision because uh, I was afraid it might have been, but it wasn't. So, good job on the judges on that one. But, like I said, guys, make sure to like this video, make sure to subscribe, and like I said, um, be back. Uh, we will be doing more Mets videos because the Mets are back. Uh, regular baseball hopefully will happen with no hiccups. Um, we're going to have a review for Zack Snyder's Justice League coming up next week. And like I said, UFC pay-per-views, we'll definitely cover those. And AEW, we're going to be covering those things too. AEW Wrestling will have its pay-per-view tomorrow. AEW Revolution, I will have a quick review for that as well. Well, guys, have a good night. Until tomorrow, until next week or the next event. I'll see you guys later.